felt good. It was coming out good. Uh, I was commanding the heater pretty well. Good game. Very good game. You touched 100 a couple times. Yeah. Uh, I don't first time in a year or so. Uh, yeah. What was behind that? I don't know. I guess uh, it was just synced up, coming out good, and uh, I'll take it for sure. That part of just kind of getting on, on routine, like now that you're kind of stretching yeah, legs? Probably. I would think so. I mean, um, yeah, we've had a couple weeks post creative build up now, and uh, yeah, I think it's all just clicking. Nice to see. I mean, you give up the home run, it was after the air, mm -hmm. and then Kim's part of the ending with the next half inning to kind of yeah. pick you up. Yeah, I mean, he's defensively. You know, basically the best around. So it, it's part of baseball. It happens, uh, but yeah, that just shows kind of the, the mindset of, of you know never hanging your head and just going and getting after it. Three starts in. How has it felt? Just kind of overall. Good. I feel like I'm I'm getting stronger every time out. Um, and uh, yeah, very very good. It's a pretty dangerous offensive team. What's the mindset when you are able to pitch with an early lead? Yeah, just uh, attack and get strikes and, and don't fall behind, basically. Um, I, I think when I do that, it's I'm very hard to hit. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a, a really good defensive squad. Uh, and it, it makes a huge difference. They've saved me a couple times already this season, so it makes makes pitching a lot of fun. First series win of the year, I mean, how important is that going into LA? Yeah, it's super important. You know, obviously every game is, but, um, you know, I think just showing, you know, that, that first game, the way we come back and, uh, you know, it kind of just comes down to we're playing hard and, and uh, we're going to keep playing hard. Process meeting your team in, in, in Seoul for the first time, but how comfortable are you getting just with a routine and around your new teammates? Yeah, I feel really comfortable now. Um, you know, I feel like it took a couple weeks and, and now I feel like I know everybody. I kind of know uh, all the support staff and uh, I feel real, very good here. You broke out the 63 mile per hour change yeah. again after a fastball this time we're here. Yeah. Just give us batters to think of something to think about there. Yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed it was a ball, but you know, you break it out in the six. Sometimes it happens. Uh, yeah, just giving throwing another wrinkle in there, and um, I think it kind of sets up some other pitches well. So the more that they have to focus on different things, the better for me. What's that? Just, can you just speak about winning first ser first series of the year for you guys. Uh, it's just feels amazing. Uh, <laughs> probably should have done it sooner, but here we are and. Uh, Nothing, you're trying to play just better baseball every single day. Mike Shield spoke about what a winning player that jerks in Profar. Any surprises that he just, of what you guys are seeing from him and how productive he's been? The guy put the work in the, in the off season, you know, and uh, definitely paying off, and he's definitely playing winning baseball right now. You, you guys, you always talk about you know, having energy in the dugout, energy in the clubhouse. What what kind of spark does he always bring to this to this team? He always brings it, no matter what. It doesn't matter how he's just playing good, he's playing bad. He's always there for the boys, motivating each other, and you know he's always pushing. How much has this Padres team evolved since you first played the Dodgers in South Korea, which feels like it was six months ago? Um, we're just moving forward. You know, we're saying why why we need to improve as as a collective group, and we're just focusing on that right now. What's the thing that you enjoy most about playing at Dodger Stadium? <laughs> I don't enjoy it much. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do you like having a plaque from that home run you hit a few years ago? I do. You know, they still can see my name, and I know they're probably all of them are saying a lot of curse words, but <laughs> uh, they still got to see my name, so I love it. Fernando, how important was it to win this series and get some momentum to go up to go back up there? Um, since the first game, I feel like it, it spoke for itself. You know, we kind of have a pushback in that second game, but we came out uh, today for trying to win that series, and, uh, you know, the boys were at it. Picking out that record every day, but the significance of winning a series for the first time and especially the way that you guys did it. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm... I don't think. I know it's important to win series, right? That's how you do it. You know, we talk about getting better as the game goes, series goes. An indication of getting better as the series goes is winning series. Um, so it's important that we're able to do that. We had the opportunity to do it and uh, was able, were able to do it today. And I uh, like the way the game was played. Um, obviously, dominant pitching from C's. He was tremendous, but did a lot of different things offensively, showed a lot of different versatilities. Added on, kept applying pressure, played our defense, so it was uh, well played all phases. From the side, I know you're not back there catching it or hitting against it, but but Cease, when that slider's on, like, just how difficult is that? That yeah, you know, you get the privilege of being able to watch Major League Baseball games from the side, and you, you get a chance to see 
the amazing talent that these guys have on all aspects of the game. But then you look at a guy like Dylan Cease, and he's just like, whoa. You know, the fastball just jumps, but you point the slider just there and just late. And, uh, you know, it's got a late break, and it's also got the depth. So it's a, uh, you know, clearly it's a filthy pitch. Was that Kemp Steele in the fourth, uh, him acting on his own, or was that call from the dugout? Uh, you know, we uh, most of the stuff that we do is a, is a combination. What I mean by that is um, – I don't think I'm giving any state secrets away. Um, but, you know, a lot of what we do is preparation for opportunity and then trust guys to take advantage of what they see. And I'm glad you brought it up, Dennis, because it's a, it, was a, um, it was a good baseball play, you know, because we got an opportunity to grab third. There's one out. We got a guy that can run with the, at the plate with Merrill. Um, we're pretty sure they're going to probably throw through. Um, and we just hold campy and then – Creates a first and third, which now hits a ground ball. Merrill can run, gets us a run. So, like I said, I, I like the fact we were able to manufacture early, um, and then do some do some damage as well with Crony's big swing, um, Pro's big swing, and um, just a lot of good team baseball. What has Profar brought to this club this year? Quite a bit. You know, that's another question I appreciate. Um, Sometimes we don't stop and celebrate guys as much, we don't, and we never want to take anybody for granted. But Jerickson uh, Profar has done a phenomenal job in, in pretty much every aspect we can we can talk to him about. He's played a solid left field. Um, but he's taken really, really good at bats. He's in a good spot in the order. Um, you know, of course, the Grand Slam the other day to you know was a difference maker in that game. Today, Homer opens it up, um, gives us some breathing room. He's in the middle of everything. Takes good at bats. And then the other residual benefit that you can never quantify is just the quality of competitor he is and the respect that he has, you know, from his teammates and how he goes about his business. And he's a guy that I appreciate for my chair being in the clubhouse. I like the fact that he's always going to be prepared. I like the fact he's got a good attitude, plays the game hard, plays the game smart. You know, for example, that base running play on that ball that can't be hit, immediately read it, boom, and was gone. Um, he's just a guy that, you know, he's a winning player and you can't have enough of him. Coach, how important was it to, to win this series and get with the day off tomorrow and to get some momentum before you guys have the three games set in L.A.? Yeah, no, it's important. It's important to win every series, um, irrespective of who our next opponent is. Um, you know, again, um, you know, we've had a lot of good things happen. We've had you know a few innings that have gotten away from us that have cost us. But, you know, going to win a series and, you know, it's always good to go in a day off with some of that momentum and uh, then go down there and be ready to play and compete. And we're excited for that opportunity. Coach, what did you guys learn from them in that first series, the two quick games set in Korea that maybe you guys can use to get ready for the next the next series against them? Yeah, well, you know, we're pretty familiar with that club because they, they've, they've got some new pieces like Yamamoto's going to throw against us. Um, we were familiar with him when we faced him in Seoul. Um, but, we, you know, it's a club that's – their bigger blocks have been there. I mean, Otani's in a new addition, but we've, we we understand what he, he is and we've competed against him. But – you know, we kind of know what we're going to get out of that group, and, and it's really about us doing our part to execute and um, being aware and respectful. Clearly, it's a good club, um, but go and play in our game.